Oh, welcome back to Ricketts Reef. This will be my first instructional how-to video and the topic of this video is going to be the whirly birds. I have a lot of questions and comments regarding the whirly birds or surge device, whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to do a how-to video. One reason why I'm going to do this video too is because apparently the post that had this idea where I got this idea from has lost its pictures so what I'm going to do is make a quick video because a video or a picture says a thousand words um, and it really helps it does help me for sure because I'm not so good at written instructions so let's go make a whirly bird okay the first piece of your whirly bird is a sprinkler this is a PVC sprinkler um, I got mine I think they're a buck 80 from Target I got them from their website, the Target Outlet website. I bought seven of them just in case I messed up, but I didn't mess up because it's a fairly easy thing to make. Um, what you're also going to need is a Dremel tool. Uh, I've got the trusty old DeWalt Dremel. This is a, uh, I'm using the regular all-purpose bit. You can, you can use something similar to this. And what we're going to do, first off, is we're going to cut off these arms right where these knobs are. So I'm going to do that now. You might want to plug your ears for this. There we go. No more arms. That's great. Okay, next step is we want to cut off the base. Because the piece we're after is right in the middle here. This little spinny bit. That's that's the part we want. So everything else has got to go. Right? It's a fire sale. It's got to go. If you haven't realized, I really like to break stuff. One of my favorite things in the world to do is demolish houses, demolish buildings, mash things. In high school, I think I even did a project called The Art of Mashing. Alright, so now what we got here is our kind of centerpiece. We're going to want to trim this off. We're going to trim this nub down. Uh, I'm going to do this as quickly as possible and hopefully I can figure out how to edit the video to put it in a fast forward mode. If you see, when you've got it trimmed down to here, you're going to want to see in there. You'll see, hold on, let me get a flashlight. I know these movies are kind of ghetto, but whatever. So if you see in here, that's your whirly bird, and that's kind of your guide to the size and the shape you want this. You want to have it nice and smooth. So this is the tricky part. This can actually take some time. So I'll see if I can speed up the movie. If not, it'll be kind of a flash forward situation.
Okay, so, sorry, it's a little kind of hard to find. Now you've got your your centerpiece. This is the, the piece you've chopped off from real tight. There we go. Okay, so now you've got your centerpiece. This is this is your whirly bird mechanism. You've got your your PVC piping. This is a this is a quarter inch coupling. Your your regular quarter inch piping is not going to fit on this side. Just so you know, you're going to have to either use a coupling or an elbow or however you do your PVC intake or however you're going to set this up. Fat sides going to need a coupling at the very least or an elbow. So that goes on there. You can pull that off or on or off. Now this side where the three arms were out of, you're going to need a half inch piece of PVC. Just a little piece and you're going to actually glue this on. You might want to make it a little wider than this. This is just for demonstration. Um, this is about, you're going to want it about half inch to an inch just to, to cover the holes. Now the reason for this is because this is what glues in to your elbow. Let me try and angle this camera. This is what glues into your elbow. Okay, so glue this little piece of PVC on. Once you've done that, once it's all glued in, you're going to need to cut a hole for flow. As you'll see, you've blocked off all your holes, your three holes, and you've got no hole there. So, you're going to have to cut this center part out at least. This is the least you have to cut out, this bottom part. Now if you find that's not enough flow coming out of there, you can you can trim off a little piece uh, on the side. You know, just, a, just a little groove about the size of your finger, right about there. It'll give you some more flow. Um, but this, this is, I just left it like this on mine if I remember correctly and it was adequate. Because what happens is your hole up here isn't really much bigger now than your hole down there. So making this hole bigger, you're not going to get really much more flow. So, here you go. You've got your whirly bird. Stick it in your elbow, and it spins. Connect it to your return line from your pump, from your sump, and stick it in your tank somehow. You know, that part's up to you. And you, I think you've all seen it on mine. And enjoy. Get some nice random flow, uh, wave action. And I'm handling, through two of them, comfortably I'm handling about 1,200 gallons per hour. So these things are, are quite capable of pushing some good amount of water through. I hope you've enjoyed. Any comments or questions or any clarification that you need, you know, post it and I will try and help and get back to your questions ASAP. Bye-bye.